Hey guys, working on a Jeep TJ. So I am trying to remove the skid plate here underneath. This is a very common problem. And what happens is uh, you go to spin these nuts or bolts, I mean, you go to spin these bolts, but the nut inside the frame spins and these won't come out guys. So in this video, I am gonna show you how to get the skid plate off but then I will show you a very clever way how to put it back in so this never happens again. I'm inventing a new way to do it, guys. So stay tuned to this video. Let's get into it right away, everybody. So I got an angle grinder with a cutoff wheel. And I'm going to show you in real time. Like, I'm going to cut this bolt off, uh, record the whole thing, and then I'll do the other two off camera so you can see it. Uh, yeah, you basically you got to cut the head of the bolt off uh, and we're going to get this plate right off. Like I said, the other side unbolted, the center bolts unbolted, no problem. These three are spinning in the frame, guys. And I don't want to wreck these things, so I'm not cutting it here. I'm going to cut literally the heads off these bolts. Okay, ready? Yep. Remember guys, safety first, Tom here, he's wearing a mask, he's wearing ear protection, he's wearing gloves, and of course, he is wearing safety glasses. Okay guys, check it out. See, I got it cut. So I'm gonna cut the other two the exact same way, unbolt everything, lower this plate, and then I'll show you what to do with these studs that are hanging out here. Okay, so I cut all three heads off, and look, this is off, see? So now the only thing is I got to unbolt it on the other side and right there. But what you want to do is you want to get a jack and like a board to distribute the weight. And we're just going to support the transmission so this doesn't sag down. So I'm going to set that up. Okay, so I got the jack under it. So just a few pumps. See, like... Right there, see, so this is basically where it was. Okay, let's unbolt the rest of it. Okay guys, the plate is up as you can see, right? So I got some repairs to do, that's why I pulled the plate off. So now, these bolts, right? I mean, unfortunately, all you can really do with them is knock them inside your frame. Maybe you could try fishing them out these holes if you're really worried about them, but they can just sit there. We'll fish them out later, probably get it out this hole. Just go like this. There you go, gone. So now you just got a hole, right? Okay, so I'm gonna get the other two off. I might have to use a crowbar. This is to kind of rust it on, knock it in. I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. I'm gonna do my repairs and then I'll show you how to get this back on in a way where you can take it off, put it on anytime you want and you'll never have this problem again. So see you guys tomorrow. I'm fast forwarding till tomorrow right now. Okay guys, all my repairs are done. Check out my skid plate repainted. Okay, I'll show you guys how to put this on now. I find this is the best, easiest way and it solves the issue forever. So, I got myself a drill bit, see? Exact same size as these holes here. So I put it in like this. I used a little car jack underneath the drill to make it easier so I wouldn't have to push hard. And check it out. I drilled all the way through the frame. See, guys? So I did it to that hole. This hole. See, there it is. Tons of room up here. And right now I'm going to do it to the last one. So let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna set up my jack here and drill the last hole. See you guys in a minute. Okay, see, so now I just drill and slowly turn the jack up. So that way I don't have to push so hard. Just a little trick, guys. Okay, I'm gonna drill all the way through. Okay, guys, so now I got this on with the jack. So look what we're gonna do now. I went to a bolt store and I got these 
nice industrial strength bolts. I got some locking nuts, uh, a couple big washers. I'm actually gonna reuse these ones. So these are from the head like that. They're about six and a quarter, six and a quarter inches from there, right? So now all we're going to do, guys, is check this out. It's redesigned. So all you're going to do is we're going to put this in like so. See, and it comes out up here. See, look at that. There it is. And on top there, we're going to throw one of these on. And put this nut on. Just like that. Put it nice and tight, and guess what, guys? This will never happen again. See, we're gonna do that there, there, and there. There's more than enough room. So that is the fix for it, guys. Um, one little hole in the frame is not gonna do anything to it. If your frame's so rotted out that you think one hole is gonna ruin your frame, you shouldn't be driving your Jeep anyways. Ours is nice and solid. No issues there, guys. And honestly, there is holes everywhere. Holes don't do nothing. Okay, guys, that is the fix for it. It's very cold out here, guys. So please subscribe if you want to see more material on Jeeps, guys. Thanks for watching.